Welcome to episode 7 of Let's Go Bikepacking. In today's episode you'll learn 10 hacks and tips for traveling on the bike. These are super helpful and if you go on your first big bike trip it's essential to know them. Some of those I wish I'd known before I went on my first trip. We've got regular weekly videos on the channel so subscribe if you like and if you've got any questions don't hesitate to ask us in the comments or DM us on Instagram. Lentils instead of pasta. Pasta is probably the most popular camping food, but there is one that is a lot better, red lentils. The advantages are they take up a lot less space than pasta, there is not as much air in the package. 500 grams of lentils will last you way longer than 500 grams of pasta, as the lentils soak up water, so you carry the same amount of weight for a lot more food. And red lentils are very nutritious. They've got lots of proteins and carbohydrates as well. And red lentils, as compared to other kinds of lentils, don't need to be pre-soaked, so you can just put them into boiling water, just like pasta. Always, no matter what, bring extra clothes for the tent that you never ever use outside of it and protect them at all costs. That way, no matter how bad the weather might be, you'll always have dry and pretty much clean clothes when you get into the tent at night, and that's an amazing comfort and makes life a lot better. Gas stations are your best friend. This is a great one. In all countries where tap water is drinkable, we got our water from taps and gas stations. It's great because gas stations are everywhere where there's roads, so you'll never run out. Also importantly, almost all gas stations have toilets, and if you ask kindly, you can always use them. Charging electronic devices with a solar power bank. Now in the winter, we always charged our devices and power banks at hostels about every 5-7 to seven days, cause there is not too much sun out. But in summer, solar panels are great. That can be a solar power bank or an extra solar panel. I was absolutely amazed when I tried it first. In France, in summer, where the sun was shining all day every day, I charged my phone, GoPro camera, bike computer, Bluetooth headphones, Bluetooth speaker and power bank solely from solar energy for three weeks, except two nights where I stayed at friends' houses. So do not underestimate the sun's power and the technology. Filling salt and seasoning into the same little glass container. This will save you lots of space and weight. Just fill your herbs, spices, seasonings together with salt in a small plastic or glass container and that will last you for a while. Don't hesitate to ask for help. Strangers will always be nice and helpful. Although we hear lots of bad things on the news every day, when you're out with your bike and approach strangers when you need help, they're always happy to help. Whether it's to find the way, to find a spot in a garden to stay for the night or to get some water when you've run out or other stuff. A headlamp will make your life so much easier. A simple handheld flashlight or phone flashlight is no comparison. It's great to have light while having both hands free and it's an absolute essential. Set the tent up according to sunlight in the morning. This is especially important in summer. If your tent is not in the shade in the morning, the sun will shine onto it from 5 or 6 in the morning and by 8 you'll have a sauna in there. Always check where the sun will rise and put your tent behind a tree or something else to shelter from the sun in the morning. Don't forget sun cream even if it doesn't seem like it. Even in England, when I was riding for 5 hours and was cloudy almost the entire ride, I got a little sunburn because clouds don't stop the UV light. Don't risk it, just take sun cream and protect yourself even if it doesn't really seem like it. Download audiobooks. An amazing tip, especially if you're traveling alone, it can get boring on the bike. Or if you're having a bad day or in a bad mood. For me, audiobooks often take me into another world and out of the reality, so that I can kind of forget about the outer circumstances and it makes it easier to ride. Also in the evening it's nice to listen to it when you're alone in the tent or when you're trying to fall asleep and it also saves weight compared to real books. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask us here or on Instagram. I hope these were helpful, thanks for watching and see you next week.